I'm going to go to the feature management, but the feature management page. So let's go take a look at that. So this is where it's showing you those features that need to be enabled. There are some that aren't going to even be available yet. You'll see the availability is coming into play. But one of them, of course, is this enhanced email. So you will want to make sure that this has been enabled as I show you some of the next stuff that you're going to be able to do here. I'm going to do a search on the email. If you just do email and the search, you're going to see all of the areas that are available to here now. With this update, with the last one and some of the enhancements with this one, it's giving you the ability to set up multiple email accounts. So you can see this is available to here. So I'm just going to click on that real quick. And right now you see that I have it set up for my own self, but you actually can create new email accounts. It's going to take you through a wizard and those new email accounts. So you can have multiple through your Microsoft 365 account and then an SMTP server as well. So you can have multiple email accounts associated with this. So this is giving you the ability to have that email, the emails that you're sending out, the purchase orders, the sales orders come from specific email accounts. So in the past, we had some limitations there. They're now expanding that so that you can either have them come from individuals, which is what we often see. Okay, we want it to come from one specific user, or we want it to come from a, let's say, a purchasing group account, email account that it would come to. So this is expanding and giving you that ability to do that. So once you have set that up, so I just have the one for me set up, and you want to associate it with specific things. So as a specific user, I want to say certain emails need to come from this account. So I'm going to come into navigate email scenarios. And you can see here it's showing that I'm having the vendor remittance come from there. But if I want to assign other scenarios, you see I have a full list here of all the areas that I can assign. So if I wanted sales orders, sales invoices, etc., to come from this particular account, I would choose it and you see it showing up here. So if I had added some other group Outlook accounts, I would see those in the list and I could associate all the other documents with those particular email boxes. You now also have the ability to see your outboxes. So if you wanna see what emails have been sent, again, if I just type in email, you will see your email outbox. So now you have visibility to all of the emails that have been sent from the system. So if you're coming from an individual account, it will also show up in your standard Outlook account, but you can come to this area to see all of the emails that have been generated from the system. You see there is the ability to filter here. So if you wanna to get to specific ones, like from where the sender was, message, dates, you have that ability to filter down to those. So great visibility into what has been sent out of the system through that email. So what if I want to send a specific email, let's say from a hosted sales invoice, I wanna resend it to somebody. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my posted sales invoice list. And I can choose from here, to go under print send, send by email. And then you see that it pops up with my account because I'm the default there. It adds the contact associated with this particular customer account, but I can actually make changes to this. In the past, there were some limitations on what changes you could make when you were sending those. So I can add new people here. And I can change the message if I need to. You know you have the templates that add specific template language that comes through, but you can change that and add to it. And you can attach additional files if you need to. So a lot more options here on when you're sending out emails, and in this case, in particular, resending them. I'm going to cancel there. We'll discard that. So now for particular customers, I also have the ability, so I'm gonna to go to my customer list. While I'm in here, I'll go ahead and show the accessibility area where 
here's your hyperlink that will open up this card, but just double clicking on an empty space will open it as well. Now, what if I don't hit an empty space? If I don't double click on an empty space, and instead I do it into a field, you see that it highlights that field and that's what you can use for copying. So if you wanna copy a specific field, you can double click in it. If you wanna open something, not using the hyperlink, you just double click in one of those empty fields and you're able to open that card. So from here, let me expand this. I want to associate specific documents and users I want to receive communication regarding this customer. So if I go under related and I go under customer and I go to document layouts, this is where you get to highlight the distribution of specific documents related to this customer and who it's going to, what email layout you want in place for that. So this is giving you a greater ability to know what's going to customers, assign specific templates, and have it for different reports that you're sending them. So that is emails.